All right, everyone, it's time to instruct the younger voters here on a little bit of lore here related to John Bolton, who's big in the news right now because he's put, he's created a book and, and the Justice Department, I think, is trying to prevent him from releasing it under the auspices that it contains classified in, uh, material. And of course, they don't have to really... Ju See, now John Bolton is seeing exactly this kind of police state that he initially helped to build, exactly the problem, because they'll probably be successful because they don't have to justify the classification. They can just say, well, this is classified info. He can't release the book. Oh, what info is classified? We can't say because it's secret. <laughs> it's basically what the government is enabled to do. And the Bush era helped to promulgate that. John Bolton is a warmonger. He is a pig. He is a shitler. He, he, is, he is a piece of fuck, essentially. He's one of the worst people who's ever been in modern U.S. politics. When liberals trust John Bolton, they are essentially trusting one of the chief architects of hundreds of thousands of deaths, and the dissolution of the, the old American order of diplomacy that actually worked in favor of the post-Bush uh, doctrine, uh, which says just bomb them all to hell, world policing's great, ha ha ha, money printer go brr, and stuff like that. That's, Bolton had a, a chief hand in this sort of thing. Bolton and a, a fucking Ashcroft and some of these other losers, Dick Cheney certainly, one of the ringleaders, Bush, you know. But Bush, Bush was good at getting Cheney to take the blame, because Cheney looked like Darth Vader, and therefore Bush seemed to be just like a, a dumb puppet. But really, Bush was a lot smarter. He was smart enough to play dumb. <laughs> he knew that he'd get impeached otherwise. Liberals have done this over and over, by the way, for the last few years. Trump is over party, that's essentially what they say, with Mueller, with the Pissgate non-scandal, Trump Tower, uh, Russian influence in the election, with the economic downturn, pandemic, all of these different, the Syria... Now they're doing it with Bolton's book. Now, Trump's initial reaction to Bolton's book, which they're, again, suing to try to keep, you know, classified or whatever. They should just let him release it and then let people laugh at it, actually. Let Bolton make his fucking uh, stupid money. Let him make his money and, and go retire. But fucking leave people alone. Go to a desert island with Mitt Romney. Go to the Caymans or something. Anyway, his book, according to Trump, contains both true information that's classified and fake material. That is lies. Liberals immediately jumped on this and said, well, it can't be both, Trump. Well, yes, it can. If a book is more than one page long, I would think you can have quite a few lies and also potentially true material that you sprinkled in without realizing at least some of it might be retroactively classified when you release the book. See, the problem is that both of these can be true and probably are. When you have someone in Bolton's position writing this kind of book, dealing with this particular kind of topic, it would be difficult for him to navigate the landmine that is the classification system of things anyway. So yeah, that's probably true. At the same time, the idea, for example, Bolton talking to the press, whoa, oh, the president wanted journalists to be killed. I'm, I'm really skeptical of whether that's true. Say it under oath. Why don't you testify under oath that the president said that? Offer some proof other than your own anecdote. You're John Bolton. I'm not going to trust you at your word. If you were someone more reliable, maybe I'd say, okay, well, maybe this is true. But you're John Bolton. It's almost certainly a lie. Again, you were one of the chief architects of, of war crimes, of genocide. You were an asshole, <laughs> and nobody should believe you. People on the left are, are literally bending over backwards, sucking their own asses, trying to make excuses for John Bolton. <laughs> we're definitely in a topsy-turvy world. Logic has done a 180. John Bolton is uh, definitely... Uh, let's say that you're liberal, you know, like actually a leftist or a partisan Democrat. Looking at Bolton versus Trump, you've got to prefer Trump. Bolton is, Bolton is everything you hate, isn't he? Well, just because you have Trump derangement syndrome and you really want him out of office doesn't make John Bolton an honest man. Trust me, Bolton and honest don't go in the same sentence unless it is Bolton is not honest. That's the only time those things should be paired. So when I see like the legacy media, like the CNN talking heads and liberal commentators and stuff praising Bolton's book, which they haven't even read, by the way, you don't even know exactly what it says in what terms. You've got Bolton's brief, uh, you know, sort of talk up about it. Oh yeah, the Ch Trump tried to get the Ch what was it? The Chinese or the Russians or something? He explicitly asked them to help him in re-election because he's worried about Biden. Oh come on, dude. Now what John Bolton probably did is he took all of the negative coverage of Trump. He took all this stuff from MSN and Yahoo News and CNN and the Atlantic and the New York Times and BuzzFeed and HuffPost and all of these others. And he went through it and he took some of those claims and then he wrote about them and pretended that he was in the room at the time that these things actually happened. Big bombshell report. John Bolton says that every negative thing about Trump is actually true. 
By the way, you know that it's true because I've got some classified info that I sprinkled in here. He may have, by the way, done that on purpose to antagonize the Trump administration into its response, which is to try to keep the book from being released preemptively, to try to keep it from being fully published and actually available for sale under the auspices of the idea that it contains classified material. Well, it makes Trump look culpable. Oh, well, why is he doing that? He doesn't want this info. It's because it's true. It's because tr evil Trump sold us all down the river. No, it's because there's probably legitimately classified material in there. But if you got Trump derangement syndrome, you're not going to assume that. You're going to assume that there's funny business. And you're going to trust John Bolton to tell you that, by the way. John Bolton. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, George W. just wrote a book. I'm getting George W.'s new book, Why Trump is Evil and We Need to Stop Him. Now, I'm sure that's a credible uh, read. And probably a short one written in, you know, magic marker, considering George W., but <laughs> it'd be less academic than Bolton's work, certainly, and contain a lot of dog pictures. By the way, you can mail order copies of my dog pictures. It'd be like a thing in the back, and it would have these derpy pictures of Bush standing there with the funny grin next to his e shitty paintings. Say, oh yeah, for $9.99, I'll mail you one of these. Get my next book. It's, it's a book of photography. And come on, the dude's derped out at this point. He's literally blown a gasket these days. John Bolton's just an asshole. A war pig, war mongering fuckwad. That's what John Bolton is. The day that I trust him and his word, at the very least, he needs to go under oath and testify about these things. I guarantee he won't do that because he knows he's full of shit. The day I trust him and his word, or, you know, uh, even if he's willing to sign an affidavit for the most part, even if he testifies under oath, uh, will be the day that I, you know, I fuck off under the wheels of a bus. It's just not going to happen, dude. You're John Bolton. Th that means something. I'm a millennial. I'm from that generation. Gen Z out there, all of you, you know, 18, 19 year olds, you probably don't really remember that era as much. Maybe if you're older, maybe you forgot. I, I remember it in crystal clear detail how shitty John Bolton and people like that are. <laughs> Again, one of the worst people in modern U.S. politics. I wrote a book that I'm not willing to testify under oath about, about how Trump comports to everything that the legacy media has peddled about him without evidence for the last three years. Total coincidence, by the way. Now, I think that he used that as the material that he consulted to spin his elaborate fantasy. This is a fiction novel. If it goes on sale, patriotism-minded Americans will move it to the fiction section. That's about all. Peace out.